guys welcome back to the channel um the first new video on the channel here we go i still need to figure a few things out video wise audio wise so bear with me on that um, but to kick start this off something a little bit easy to do for me to get the ball rolling uh, we're going to look at the gear that i use starting with the camera bodies uh, now i have other camera bodies than what we have here um, i have a fuji x100 which is kind of a daily carry camera um, great little body and that's the original one, by the way, um, and the Canon EOS M3, which is recording this video now, um, which is an awesome little video camera for, for YouTube um, until it takes a very keen liking to the background, which it may do with focus on this video. We'll see. <laughs> it doesn't have dual pixel autofocus, so sometimes it goes, ooh, background, a tree. There you go. So, I'm rambling. Let's have a look at the DSLRs. Um, I'm still shooting with DSLR cameras. I'm no interest, uh, I have no interest in moving to mirrorless for my stills work. I know the pluses and all the minuses. Um, every system has its strengths. I have no interest in it. I prefer the optical viewfinder. I prefer the battery life on DSLRs. Um, yes, I, I understand mirrorless is getting better. I get it. Um, and I prefer the form factor, the grip, ergonomics, etc. Um, so that's that. Now, to the DSLRs that are in my kit. Now, I've shot with the 500D originally, going back to the tutorial series on this channel, the 60D, and as we know, the 5D Mark II, which I shot with for about seven or eight years. I still have two of these things in the kit. The original one, God knows how many actuations this has got on it. Um, still an amazing camera. I love the files out of these, uh, the cameras of this era, the 1DS Mark III, um, there's something about the files from them that the, others, the other cameras or the newer ones can't replicate. And it's the colours and tones that you get. Um, love this thing when you're, when you're working with natural light. Um, so not going to let these go very easily. Um, great camera. It's a workhorse. Um, 21 megapixels is plenty for a lot of work. Um, that being said, um, I've had three in the kit. Sold one, still got two. And the two that I have get used for behind the scenes time lapse for headshot work, portrait work where resolution isn't required, um, or higher resolution, should I say, isn't required, and they'll get used for video as well. Now, I have upgraded um, last year, within the last year, I think it was. Was it last year? Yeah, at the photography show. I was working at the show with my friends from Pixar Pro. I was on their stand. The Canon stand was just a couple of ways down, um, and they mentioned they had a great. Um, what is it now? Uh, pff, voucher, offer, anyway, a good offer on um, some Canon bodies, one of which was the 5D Mark IV. Uh, rebate, that's the word I was looking for, right. So, um, and here we have the 5D Mark IV. Great camera, great autofocus, really quick to use, much quicker than the 5D Mark II. Um, much better at tracking things that are moving, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, the main reason that I went for this, it wasn't really for the resolution at the time. Um, Autofocus is a gain, but it was mainly the dual card slots um, on the body. It's nice to have that back up, especially when you're dealing with a one-time kind of shot, one-time kind of job. Weddings, for example, um, I shoot weddings. So it's nice to have the redundancy built into the camera. It's nice even when you tether to Lightroom to have the redundancy built in. Um, although now I'm moving to Capture One, I have to problem solve that because it doesn't record to the camera. That's another video, um, but it's a great body. So it's brought with it better low light performance, better autofocus, dual card slots, obviously more resolution, which is nice, um, and better video. It's got autofocus in video, which is handy, dual pixel, which this M3 hasn't got, so sometimes it misses. And the other camera body, uh, more recent to the kit, is the Canon 5DSR. Now, I don't have a grip for this yet. I will get one because I cannot stand shooting like this drives me nuts so i'll get a vertical grip at some point and um, i looked at this thing for a long long time the 5ds 5dsr now preference for me would have been the 5ds however because i think that geez like you, these all of these cameras are sharp enough especially for portrait work like come on um but 5dsr now this came to be in my bag or in the kit because a good friend of mine how are you doing mate that's mark um had all of his gear stolen. Now he was a Fuji shooter um, and he thought, okay, it sucks having your gear stolen, but I'll take this opportunity to switch back to a full frame system. So he went with Canon and the 5DSR. Big mistake. Um, he blames me partly for it. I did kind of suggest it anyway, um, but <laughs> he 
went to Canon, decided, no, I want to go back to Fuji, stick to what I know. And it was kind of a bit short uh, because of the valuation on the insurance on the gear that was stolen. So in comes me and I buy this off him for a great price. Um, it was part kit into the business because it offered resolution um, for commercial work. Part, it was my birthday, screw it. I'm helping a friend out, get back to Fuji. Okay, I'm buying it, done. So this is in the kit. So it's not a true just business investment, which if you're starting out in business, really, that's the, what these purchases should be when you know why you're being limited by the gear you've got or you're spending more on hiring equipment um, and your clients aren't really paying for those hires for you or willing to pay any extra towards those. I, yeah, then you might it might be worth considering upgrading um, to that body, but when you know when the business can, can sustain it and when you need it. Anyway, um, but this is now in the kit. It's a great camera, um, dual card slots, 50 megapixels, um, great autofocus as well, like the 5D Mark IV, although the 5D Mark IV is a little bit quicker on that front, um, but it is a slower camera to use. Um, you can't just run and gun with it because the resolution and the pixel pitch on it will kick your ass. It'll let you know you have poor technique um, very quickly. Um, so it's not a camera for everything. You know, I'm not gonna shoot 50 megapixel headshots because no one really needs them. Headshots go onto the web mostly these days or 11 by 14 prints. So any of these cameras will do that just fine. Um, so for headshot work, the 5D Mark IIs will get used, uh, the 5D Mark IV, and um, for higher resolution where I may have a client change a brief on me, actually we want this, cut, um, this crop or this layout, then the 5D SR will get used. Um, so it's certainly nice to have in the kit. So all of these cameras have their place. Um, a lot of work I can shoot with any one of them and it doesn't matter until someone then starts to ask for certain things like shooting motion, tracking motion, or shooting something where we're gonna to need to crop for a different layout, then the higher resolution bodies will come into play. The 5D Mark IIs won't. Uh, the 5D Mark IIs will probably use behind the scenes time-lapse video. 5D Mark IV gets used for commercial video as well. And uh, don't really foresee doing much work video-wise with the 5D SR, unless I need another angle, another body. Um, but that's the four camera bodies that I have at the moment. They each have their place. Um, the only one really that's kind of been bought a little selfishly for me, obviously the 5D SR, but I'm happy that I've got it in the kit. Uh, I just need to buy a battery grip for it now. And so they're the cameras that I use. And um, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you're shooting with below in the comments. What system is it? Have you gone to mirrorless? Are you still with DSLR? Um, have you jumped ship from one brand? to another and why did you do so? Uh, sometimes it's for a commercial reason, for a business reason. Sometimes if, it's your, if you're a hobbyist, it's just because you wanted to and fine, if you can afford it, it's your money. Um, there's lots of different reasons why you'd go for one or the other. So uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna be working on these videos going forward. I'll hopefully improve audio, improve lighting, um, production value as we go on um, but thank you very much for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button wherever it is and hit the bell also that's a new thing or is it not new I'm just, I'm just old I don't know hit the bell anyway and I'll catch you guys in the next